um, Sister Amina from Jordan. I'm sorry that I didn't answer you on time, but now uh, the first question was about the permissibility of reading or writing fiction stories. And I do believe I spent a long time, a few episodes ago, explaining the verdict in this regard. In brief, it depends on the contents. If it is inspiring and something legal, then no problem to write it or to even read it, provided you explain to the audience, to the readers, it is just mere story. Okay, you're not making up a story and saying it's a fact okay there are many stories that we learn when we were young that inspired us uh, to be better to adopt uh, high zeal for innocence or aspiration I remember the story of the rabbit and the turtle there are many stories the father who gathered his children before his death and he broke a few sticks so we uh, change it with pencils and he gave the 10 pencils to each one of his 10 children and said break it down they fail then he took it off and gave it took it apart and gave each one a pencil said break it down and he broke it like a toothpick he said if you're united then no one can break you if you're divided you'll be all broken and so on these stories and others and others are very inspiring halal but the haram stories, you know, when the stories nowadays they teach in Muslim countries in English literature, awful stories about homosexuality and incest, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, in order to learn English or French, you've got to study it in this way. That's haram. Even if it is in order to learn a foreign, a foreign language, haram, absolutely haram to write it down, to read it, to teach it, to, to print it, to distribute it, because we should not help one another to commit sins or do anything that is a transgression. Um, she said in the second question that she heard somebody, I'm not going to repeat what she said when she said an imam or a scholar because not every statement you, say, you, you hear you say it's a scholar said, that he said that if a woman does not get married and uh, she dies before getting married, she would not enter paradise. That, uh, would not, we should not even discuss this because if somebody hears us saying so you think these guys are crazy uh, Maryam السلام, was Maryam married? no and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-talaq how he gave us the story of the two women of paradise Asya the woman of the Pharaoh and Maryam uh, السلام, فرجها, the chess woman so how could you ever say so and please ask any person who says anything for uh, a reference. As far as the third question, which is the ruling on covering the feet for women. According to the more right view, it is required to cover the feet of a woman in the prayer, particularly because the hadith of Umm Salama, radiyallahu anha, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa answered her question that uh, 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 if a woman can just pray in a dir'a and a khimar, he said if it was long enough that uh, that covers the feet. There's also a khilaf, a difference of opinion, but I'm providing you with what I believe in the light of evidence is more right.